Good evening, I am Kwan Yin, and this is I Have No Cut Cards Tarot. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and jump right into this, because I have had hands all over my back. Let's go. What is the message, Holy Spirit? They like and only see you as a friend. Okay. This is someone that has already made a decision about you, and this is something that's getting ready to unfold in the next four to six months. Very quickly, uh, when I was doing my pre-shuffle, um, South Africa popped out again. It keeps popping out. Every few readings, uh, South Africa, you pop out here, and it said that you are heavily spiritually protected at this time. So it's something going on with you right now. Uh, it may come out in a reading. I don't know, but we'll see. Go ahead, Holy Spirit. What are the messages? For my intended collective for this evening give me some energy holy spirit yeah divine intervention had come out along with your card okay something having to do with an auto this is not the same person that you used to know uh oh next in line of transition and what else holy spirit next in line of transition i have puerto rico okay i'm gonna leave that right there These cards fell. I'm picking them up, but you need to know what they are. All right. This is a friend of me, secret hater. Okay, so this is what's going on here in my table, okay? Uh, this is about somebody that has already made a decision about you. Uh, they like and only see you as a, but they only like and see you as a friend. So this is not someone that's in love with you. Uh, it's just someone that, you know, they just uh, like you in a platonic way. Uh, someone could be unemployed, broke right now. Uh, something's going on with someone's vehicle. Uh, something is getting ready to unfold in the next four to six months. Uh, whoever this person is, uh, it's not the same person that you used to know, okay? They've changed. They, you know, if you knew them as being one way in, in, when you were in college or high school or when you were kids, this is a different person now. Uh, life has happened to them. And it's created a whole new, uh, different type of person, okay? Maybe you can't trust this person now. I have Puerto Rico here, okay? I have next in line to die or transition. And I have a sickness has taken over them. And then I have uh, Central Africa, okay? So I have, uh, like I said, uh, you see what it is. A sickness has overtaken someone. Uh, someone is next in line to transition uh, in the next four to six months, possibly. And this was a secret hater. Uh, and I have, like I said, Puerto Rico and Central Africa here. And uh, like I said, uh, South Africa, you came out here in my pre-shuffle and you came out, uh, there's some divine intervention for you uh, from God because right now you are heavily spiritually protected from whatever somebody's doing against you, whoever you are, okay? Okay, they want me to jump right into here. All right, let's go. Holy Spirit, what are the messages this evening? Turn it over, okay. What are the messages from my collective this evening? Okay. So somebody is trying to get away with something here. This is someone that uh, is not the same person that you used to know. Uh, but you may not know that. And that's why I have the seven of wands in the reversed here. Meaning you're still, this is someone you're still open to. You know, this is someone you still uh, 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 welcome with open arms. You know, you're open to hearing them and hanging out with them, uh, possibly even trusting them. Whoever this person is, with this Seven of Swords here, uh, Seven of Swords is someone trying to get away with something, and the Queen of Wands in the reverse is someone that uh, you might be sexually attracted to or someone that uh, uses sex uh, to try to manipulate people uh, in, in, in a low vibrational way to control, you know, uh, uh, to control them using their own free will. They use their sex to influence you, okay? Uh, this queen of wands in reverse, okay? So uh, let me see. What is the obstacle here with the seven of swords? What is, it, what is this person trying to get away with? Okay. Okay, I have, okay. In my pre-shuffle, in my pre-shuffle, the Aquarius uh, kept, uh, kept coming out over and over and over again. Aquarius kept coming out over and over again. So I'm wondering, um, 
I have the wheel here. I have the wheel of fortune, and I also have the nine of swords reversed, okay? So this could possibly be somebody that is wanting to come out of an energy of uh, having a whole lot of anxiety because right now this could either be an Aquarius, uh, it can either be an Aquarius or that's worried about uh, the end of some type of friendship or, or connection uh, and they want an Ace of Wands, a new start possibly, okay? Uh, but they're hesitant about something because they're worried about something that uh, might have happened. Uh, this might have to do possibly, uh, I have the Strength card reversed, which is Leo energy, uh, and then I have the Chariot card, uh, which is Cancer energy here, okay? Oh, someone's trying to get away with something. Seven of Swords, okay, I see. Oh, wow, oh, wow, oh, wow, oh, wow, okay. All right. Mm. Somebody could have done something or they're getting ready to do something that they're going to get very bad karma from. I believe that might be why I pulled that death card in the next four to six months uh, for somebody and a sickness has overtaken them. So remember, uh, this could be something that already happened, something happening now, or something that might happen in the very near future. I feel like this is something that's going to happen in the near future because I have the next four to six months. Uh, and like I said, somebody, uh, because they're having some anxious anxiety about something, uh, possibly uh, someone with Aquarius heavy in their chart, uh, they want a new start either doing something or with something. Uh, and I have Leo energy here and I have Cancer energy here. Uh, they're going to try to get away with doing something here with the seven of, someone's going to try to get away with possibly doing something uh, or trying to seduce somebody into doing something uh, with that Seven of Swords and the Queen of Wands reverse. Uh, because uh, you don't realize this person has cha had a change of heart about you. You know, they're not the same person that uh, whatever type of friendship or relationship you had with this person when you first met them, if you've known this person for some years, they are not the same person. This person has changed, okay? Uh, give me more clarity. I want some more clarity on that Seven of Swords. What is it this person intends on doing uh, with that Seven of Swords and the Queen of Wands reverse? What is that Ten of Swords possibly backstabbing and betraying you? Uh, maybe with an air sign, possibly? We'll see. Okay, they're going to try to, okay, they're going to try to rush in very fast. Um and uh, manipulate you emotionally. Because like I said, whoever this person is, but there's more to it, okay. Whoever this person is, they're gonna try to manipulate you in some type of a way, King of Cups reverse, water has to do with your emotions. Uh, they're, go they're gonna use their emotional intelligence to manipulate you uh, into either doing something very fast or they're coming to you very quickly to try to see if they can manipulate your emotions. And then I have the uh, two of uh, Pentacles reverse. Uh, and the Ace of Swords here, uh, to manipulate the truth possibly very quickly uh, by manipulating your emotions in some type of a way about how you feel about something. Uh, clarify that two, clarify that two of uh, pentacles. What's that two of pentacles? Okay. So you might have somebody here that, and, and of course, uh, this is fire energy. The Queen of Wands is uh, uh, Leo, Aries, Sag. But remember, uh, we have all signs in our chart, male or female. But uh, the person, uh, you might be closed off to somebody that currently uh, you might have cut off or out of your energy, okay? Uh, and I have five of pentacles here. So whoever this person is that knows how to persuade you, uh, whether it be male or female sexually, uh, whoever this is that knows how to exercise some type of control over you by manipulating your sex that's out in the cold to you, they're, they're either going to send that person towards you right now, uh, either they're going to send that person towards you or, the, or try to convince you to uh, reunite or collaborate with that person again. Okay. Now, why would they want to do this? What's, what's the reason that, what is the reason that they want to do this uh, with this person? Why are they sending this person? Why, 
Is this person sending this person uh, back to my collective? Okay. All right, I have Korean here. Why? Oh, okay. This could be someone of Korean descent. But there's going to be some type of God or divine intervention here, okay? Uh, this is uh, the person they could be sending back to you. Uh, it could have something to do with someone of Korean descent. I always feel like it's someone that's either black and Korean or they're white and Korean, one or the other. I feel like whoever this Korean individual is, I feel like they're mixed with Korean. All right. This is an apology. Yeah. So they're trying to get this person back, whoever you are, they're trying to get somebody back into your energy, possibly, or, or this could be happening to someone of Korean descent. But I think this Queen of Wands reverse might be of Korean descent. Uh, either they're trying to get this person to apologize to you for whatever has happened in the past and um, to get them back into your energy. Financially responsible. This is someone new coming towards you. For some of you, this could be someone new coming towards you that someone could be sending but uh, towards you. But you need to take a spiritual bath, fast, isolate, and meditate, okay? So it must be some type of problem with this person. It must be some other motive going on. Uh, it's going to be some type of uh, divine intervention here. But I want to know what the motive is and why this person is coming towards you in actuality and who all these people are. I have Cancer here. I have uh, Leo here. Uh, I have Aquarius here. I want to know who all these people are trying to get you to reunite. Reunited and it feels so good. I have Filipino here. I have Korean, Filipino, uh, and then I have hidden enemy, danger headed your way. I keep telling y'all right now, uh, it might be a good time to isolate. We're coming up on a new moon soon. Uh, we're coming up on a new moon. We all have free will, uh, but this is the probable outcome for the future. And it landed on whoever this Queen of Wands reverse energy is. Okay, so they're saying this Queen of Wands reverse energy might gaslight you a little bit but also uh in the next few days yeah uh within the next few days this person might be coming towards you or contacting you i have australia here and things are going in your favor okay so something could be going on right now well done something could be going on right now where things could possibly be going in your favor uh after some wrong uh or something could have been done to you okay uh, by a combination of people. I have Filipino here. I have Korean here. Uh, I had Puerto Rico. I have Australia. South Africa was in my pre-shuffle. You know, this is going to resonate with different people. Just because I didn't call out wherever you're from, it does not mean this reading is not for you as well if the message is resonating with you. A lot of us are dealing with the exact same dramas uh, based on, you know, the planetary movements and uh, the energy uh, wavelengths that we're on at the same time. So a lot of the same things happen to a lot of us at the same time. Now, what is this person, tell me, what is this Queen of Wands here? What does this Queen of Wands reverse energy want to apologize about? What do they want to apologize about? Okay, so here we go again. We have the Five of Pentacles out in the cold. So they could have either cut you off, okay, or you could have cut them off and left them in the cold. Uh for possibly a third party, three of cups here. Okay, so something happened with uh, a three of cups group of people here that either you left them out in a cup. Okay, and then I have the four of wands reverse. So you might have broken up from this little group here or they could have walked and broken up from you possibly, okay? What did they do? Oh, Oh, they broke your heart. You were heartbroken. Okay, uh, okay, well, how did they, how did they, what were you heartbroken about? What happened? Okay. The sun. Okay, all right. So, you, whoever this person is, whoever this Queen of Wands uh, reverse energy is, I feel like you, this person was your happiness. You thought that they were your son. They made you very happy, okay? Uh, maybe you had some kind of relationship with this person, four of wands. But maybe you feel like uh, uh, that they were connected to a group or two other people or another person or a third party that could have 
caused uh, both of you to separate with the four of, with this four of wands reversed here, uh, and left you out in the cold. Maybe they left you for a third party. What happened? What, what happened with this uh, queen of wands energy? Okay, it was some type of confusion or conflict with this five of wands here, and uh, uh, an emperor reverse. This could be Aries energy or an older man or woman, possibly, that it was some type of confusion or conflict about. And what happened? What was the conflict? Oh, boy. Okay. Knight of Swords. This could be an air sign. This could possibly be an air sign. Somebody that came in very quickly and could have uh, went away someone could have come in and out very quickly nine of cups hmm. i wonder what happened here uh, okay so I'm feel I, I feel like I'm looking at this and I feel like what happened in this relationship here was somebody came in very quickly and either swept you off your feet or no. I feel like this Queen of Wands reversed. Okay. Somebody came in very, very quickly with this Knight of Swords here. Because you see, I have the Knight of Swords here again. There's an energy that came in here rushing in very quickly and caught the attention of whoever this love interest of yours is that uses sex to manipulate people, okay? That, that, that usually is able to uh, persuade people to do things because they're very sexually attractive or because, you know, you know, they have sex with people to manipulate them. And they're in, uh, they swept this person off their feet very quickly and they went running off with this person, okay? And they ate a cup stew. They, they pulled their energy back from you. Now, whoever this person is, uh, I have Aries here on the table now too. They could have pulled their energy back, they could have pulled their energy back from you when this uh, third party uh, came into the picture now because I had this three of cups now I'm wondering if all three of you were involved with each other or if this was a, a marriage where you had an open relationship uh, let me pull some energy on that but it looks like somebody might have come and swept you off your feet very quickly clarify that what's this three of cups here what happened with this three of cups and there's South Africa Eritrea and a young woman. Okay. Okay. Uh, this fool failed the spiritual test. They will not advance and move on. Okay. So, y'all take this as it resonates. But I have South Africa here. I have Eritrea. I have South Africa. I have Eritrea here. Okay. And I have a young woman. Now, now I'm also starting to wonder for some of you. For some of you, I'm wondering if this was a same-sex relationship. And uh, for others of you, it could have been uh, a masculine-feminine type relationship. Okay? But like I said, I have all these energy. I have all these energies out here. Okay? But you, you were lured away by somebody. Maybe someone of Eritrean descent or someone of South African descent. I don't know. Okay? Three of Cups. Okay, they only wanted money or resources from this person, and this is the master manifester. Okay, so someone came in and lured your person away, possibly, or uh, lured somebody away from you uh, that only wanted money, okay? Uh, this could be someone on uh, your child's dad's side of the family, maybe, I don't know, that might have, um, oh, okay. Someone on, for some of you, someone on your child's dad's 
side of the family could have lured somebody that was in a connection with you away from you. So maybe some of you have a baby father, okay, or ex-husband, all right, or an ex of yours, uh, one or the father of all or one of your children that you're probably, uh, you're either in separation from, divorced from, or you could have been broken up with this person for years, but this person may have never gotten over you. So for some of you, this person may have never ever gotten over you and they might have sent somebody to seduce and lure away somebody that you were dating, you know, just out of bitterness and spite in hoping that you'll come back to them. Oh, wow, that would be very devious. Wow, okay. Anything else about that Three of Cups? Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. Okay, and broke. Yeah, somebody's getting ready to go broke, and here's Puerto Rico again, okay? All right. So for some of you, it was somebody uh, of Puerto Rican descent, possibly, that could have um, uh, helped to lure somebody or seduce somebody uh, out of your energy and made them walk away from you. Okay, all right, that's fine. This is an underage teen. For some of you, it was an underage teen that did this. Okay, all right, so let's jump back on in here. Now I gave you some of the energy that's on the table. Uh, let's see what's all going on. So now this person wants to come back and to apologize to you uh, and things are going in your favor uh, because of some type of divine intervention that's going on right now, okay? Um, now, let's take a look here. All right, so we have the King of Cups reverse. So they think that they're going to come in uh, and avert. Now they think they're going to rush back to you. Okay, so they fell for somebody else that seduced them and they uh, quickly went away from you. Someone rushed in and they pulled their energy back from you. Eight of Cups, you. Okay, but now this person knows that things are going in your favor and they're trying to rush and hurry up and get back into your energy very quickly. And they think uh, they're going to be able to emotionally manipulate you uh, into getting back into your energy. Okay, now I also want to know why, uh, oh, these might be some of the other people that might have been involved uh, in uh, that are getting bad karma possibly even because these people might have all uh, participated in this. Uh, uh, a cancer, a Leo, uh, and an Aquarius, possibly. It's a lot of people, there are a whole lot of people I feel like that might have had their hands in this. What kind of mess is this uh, to be doing to one person? This is weird, some weirdo shit right here. Man, some of y'all out there got a whole bunch of people uh, that need to find something to do. So, uh, to avoid a disaster, you could have gone into hermit mode, okay? This is Virgo energy, okay? Uh, you don't have to be a Virgo. But to avoid, uh, to avoid a tower or to avoid being hurt, you could have possibly went into hermit mode where you just might have cut everybody off and isolated yourself, you know, so that you could heal and so that you could, you know, uh, uh, you know get, get a sense for what was going on around you. Okay, what is that hermit with the uh, towel reverse? Yeah, it was it was for you to heal. Okay, so yeah, you went into hermit mode because uh, maybe you were having a very difficult time. You were having a very difficult time uh, possibly uh, dealing with what whatever was going on with you. Okay, uh, oh, okay, so the reason I dropped this card, I believe it's supposed to be upright. The Six of Swords. So you went into hermit mode. Uh, th these three cards are clarifying the hermit, okay, and the tower reverse. So uh, instead of uh, getting upset and lashing out at this person that uh, pulled their energy back because they were seduced by someone that possibly your daughter's father or your son's father or an ex of yours sent towards uh, sent towards. Uh, whoever this person you were dating was to distract them and to trick them uh, what you did is you went into hermit mode you healed 
and you moved yourself to calmer waters, okay? You got back uh, your emotional stability. You, you know, you got back uh, your mental soundness. You know, you healed your, bo your mind and your body, okay? And then you started focusing on your stability. You started focusing on your home. Uh, the Queen of Pentacles, fo uh, the Queen of Pentacles works on her home, her apartment, her condo, her house, uh, his, or whether it be a man or a woman. But when they focus on building for themselves, you know, uh, they're, they're focusing on building a very comfortable, nice home, making sure they have nice things. Every, all their bills are paid. Everything is. You focused on your stability and building for yourself. Okay, that's what you did. Uh, remaining independent and making sound financial decisions. You know, saving. Uh, and you you were investing in yourself. Whoever you are, you just started investing in yourself. Okay, good. That's what you were supposed to do. Okay. But you're still open to this person for whatever reason. Okay, so now I have a Knight of Wands here. So someone possibly now might be very passionate about coming towards you, uh, uh, thinking that, and this is Gemini energy right here and Virgo energy here. Uh, someone's passionate about coming towards you now or perhaps thinking that uh, they might be able to become the lovers with you again, okay? And then I have the Hermit here, okay? What's the hermit, Holy Spirit? Clarify the hermit for me. Okay. Okay, that's a Virgo. Mm, okay. What are they working with the Virgo to do? Someone could be working with a Gemini or a Virgo, possibly, and they're wanting to come towards you very quickly. Yeah. They could be celebrating with uh, possibly a Virgo, celebrating and working with a Virgo to do something, to manipulate you. Okay, this looks bad, y'all. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, you need to be closed off to this person. That's it, we're done. Okay. So now, this person that ghosted you before is possibly working with a Virgo or a Gemini to come back into your energy to try to uh, manipulate you. Hmm, very interesting. Okay, what is the energy of this, uh, what's the energy of this hermit reversed? What is this, what is the energy of the uh, uh, hermit reversed? Yeah, this hermit reversed energy could be um, an air sign, I feel like. What is the energy of this hermit reversed? Whoever this hermit reversed energy is, um, I believe it could be either Virgo or an air sign. This person's intentions are evil towards you, okay? They don't have good intentions towards you at this time, okay? This person is embarrassed right now. They're embarrassed because um, you found out what they did and they're strategizing against you uh, because they're an overly logical thinker and they think that they can outthink you uh, to try to... Uh, do something, uh, do something uh, that will hurt you further. Wow. Okay, you're going to have to isolate and heal for a better perspective. None of these people have good intentions towards you. So they're coming towards you to do what, spirit? What? Shallow and surface level. Yeah, they're shallow and surface level. Yeah, these people are no good for you. Whoever you are, keep these people out of your energy. What's this? Yeah. Whoever you are, you are heavily spiritually protected at this time. Don't let anyone from your past uh, back, come back towards you. Okay. Wow. And this person has a baby on the way or here already. We're going to keep this short and sweet. We don't even have to go too far into this. Okay. I get it. Now, for, for one damn thing, do not touch my anointed. And you are God's anointed. Okay. This uh, hermit energy they could be working. Ah, I was about to say it. This hermit energy is a spiritual practitioner, uh, and they could be working on doing some type of love spell to you, uh, which is only going to be returned to the sender uh, and well done. Okay, so that's the thing. Okay, that's the message that they wanted to get out. 
someone's trying to manipulate you right now, okay? Right now, someone is trying to manipulate you right now. Do you hear me? Uh, and they're doing some type of love spell, love magic, to see if they can pull you back into their energy, but they're working with a spiritual practitioner. This They're, they're working with a spiritual practitioner uh, to do you some more harm. They're, they're working with others. They're working with other people again. They've reunited and it feels so good. You know, the three of cups with the three of pentacles. You know, they're eating, drinking, celebrating with these people that they're also working with against you to do some type of a love spell. Ah, ew, disgusting. This is disgusting energy to me. But you are heavily spiritually protected at this time. Oh, my Lord. And you know what? Just as a special for you, very quickly, I am going to pull two freaking cards for each one of these energies for you very quickly okay just to give you a quick idea of and, and yeah they're trying to yeah uh i have the five of pentacles reverse and the page of wands okay these people uh might want to come back in and bring you a message but you know uh spirit is saying that you know cut these people off uh remain closed off to these people keep them out in the cold do, do not allow them into your energy okay you don't need no messages from them because they don't have anything to say to you. None of these people have anything to say to you, okay? I just mixed these cards up, but that's okay. Uh, however, the message needs to come through. It's going to come through. Holy Spirit, could you please just quickly give me two cards uh, about this Queen of Wands? Uh, okay, they want me to do both, and that's just what I'm going to do. Give me two cards for this Queen of Wands reversed energy that wants to apologize and come back into my collective energy. Who's this Queen of Wands reverse? Give me two cards. Give me two cards about this Queen of Wands. Okay. She jumped right on my chest. <sighs> All right. So this Queen of Wands is the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And here's the other card. Okay. Yep. Uh, that wants to win at all costs. Yeah, so the Queen of Wands, uh, this Queen of Wands reversed energy uh, is someone that wants to win at all costs. And I believe it's a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio, okay? All right, so that's the Queen of Wands reversed. All right, and let me pull some, give me some energy on that Queen of Wands reversed very quickly, please, to convince my collective not to let these people come back. Okay, what you got here? There you go. Okay, so this Queen of Wands reverse Pisces Cancer Scorpio energy right here that ghosted you uh, because they were seduced by somebody else very quickly. They're very flighty, and now they're trying to rush back into your energy because things are going back into your favor uh, is one sick fuck. They have wicked thoughts right now, and the waters run very deep. Do I need to go further? Okay, all right. Next, this cancer energy. Possibly this Queen of Wands reverse, I believe, could be this cancer energy right here. Because I said Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So I believe that's who that is. Tell me about the strength card, Holy Spirit. Give me two cards about this Leo energy strength card. This is somebody that's a wounded warrior that is in retreat right now, possibly because of something that they could have done to you as well, okay? Whoever this Leo energy is, please give me some energy about the strength card reverse that's in this wounded warrior. Tell me about this Leo energy, Holy Spirit. All right. This person is not seeing the situation clearly. This is someone that is emotionally immature and irresponsible that's also humiliated and they're angry and they're pissed. You don't, I told you, you don't need to let anyone from your past, if any of these people are resonating with you, do not let them. <laughs> do not let any of these people back near you. This is somebody that's angry, they're pissed, emotionally immature, whoever this Leo energy is. You don't let them come back either. This is a wounded warrior, and they're wounded from going to battle trying to hurt you. 
whatever they were doing in the dark uh, with this cancer energy and that Virgo energy, that they, they've been trying to hurt you, hurt or harm you. You know, and these guys all, or, or who, whoever this group is, they all have a new start. The Ace of Wands here. They're all working together right now. They're probably all, I don't want to be so vulgar. <laughs> it, it, it sounds like some coven energy here. It sounds like some uh, butt pirate coven energy where all these men are getting it, if you know what I mean, you know. And uh, last, this Aquarius energy. Holy Spirit, give me some energy on the wheel. Give me some energy on this Aquarius energy, the wheel. The wheel of fortune reversed. Now, I think that, that that's just indicating, yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, it's just indicating that uh, it's, it could be an Aquarius, but all these people are getting bad karma. All of these people are getting bad karma. So I have the world card, okay, which means they are getting ready to be stuck repeating a cycle of bad luck, okay? And that's why this uh, world card in the reverse is clarifying uh, the wheel. And what else do we have here? Ha, 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 It's a double meaning, y'all. It's a double meaning. This was a high priestess, okay? Remember I told you I had a spiritual... I told you I had a spiritual practitioner uh, that was working with a cancer practitioner in my other reading. They were working together, okay? So this is both people that are stuck in a cycle, okay, of bad karma, and it's an Aquarius. So it has a double meaning here. You see here I have the high priestess, and I have uh, the wheel, and I have the wheel in two different decks. So this is that... This is that karmic um, Aquarius high priestess. It was, uh, in, from my other reading, it was a white male. Uh, and the cancer spiritual practitioner was West African. Uh, and uh, these people are all getting bad karma. So, I mean, that's going to pretty much wrap up this reading. Um, what you have here are people from your past that you need to stay blocked off to. This Aquarius energy, you might not even know them directly. This Leo energy, this Cancer energy, uh, all these people from your past, uh, you went into hermit mode uh, to heal and to move to calmer waters and work on your stability, and that's where the spirit wants you to stay right now. Stay isolated and cut off from these people. These people do not, do not mean you any good, okay? Now, Holy Spirit, do you want to give me some final cards? Oh, look, the strength card. Here goes that Leo again, okay? Uh, that's hoping that you be open to a new start, okay? Um, because they're not happy because they didn't get the results they were looking for, okay? Uh, this Leo energy is hoping that you're going to be open to allowing them, you know, to, uh, you know, maybe even try uh, to uh, have a fresh start being in your energy so that they can attack you again. They're back, the get along gang has come back together again. The old gang has come back together again uh, and they're up to the same old shit they used to be up to, okay? Because whatever offer they made in the past uh, to try to steal something from you, it got rejected with this Four of Cups, okay? Yep, whatever type of conflict they tried to uh, Five of Wands bring your way, uh, it did not work. Okay, some final cards, yeah. Oh, okay, they were trying to bring conflict to your stability, Nine of Pentacles. They were trying to win at all costs by making you lose your stability. A bunch of fucking losers. Ugh. I'm sorry, Collective, if y'all had to go through this. This is ridiculous. Yeah, they couldn't, they could not affect your mental uh, health. They were trying to make you lose your stability, affect your mental health, and have you all emotionally, Ace of Cups, blocked up in a mental imprisonment in your head. Uh, with this um, uh, nine of swords here. Listen to me. Do not allow anybody from your past back into your energy. That's it. I don't even need to pull no more cards. Listen to me, collective. Do not let anybody from your past come back into your energy right now. Right now, we're coming up on a new moon. I want everybody, if you can, to fast off of fresh fruits, fresh vegetables, if you can. You know, if you really get hungry, of course, eat something like like a little bit of rice or, you know, a little bit of something to fill you up if you need to. 
but eat very lightly. Stay away from sugar. Stay away from sugar and fast if you can. Meditate every day, at least until we pass this new moon. Focus on what you want your new goals to be. Focus on something new for yourself that you want to buy or grow or build. Yeah. Come on, Empress. These people... Oh, okay. You could possibly... Uh, oh, oh, this was right. Okay. Okay. There could possibly be an older man or woman, or this could be even a Libra energy, uh, or an Aquarius energy that could be a mother or could be pregnant possibly that was working on causing you to lose your stability as well uh, that uh, might have been spearheading some gossip about you, okay? That could also be coming towards you uh, to see if they can get a new start with you. Uh, and they are rushing in very quickly. Thank you. Be careful. Now, look, y'all be careful also of uh, either an Aquarius, a Libra, or uh, possibly a mother or mother figure, an older woman, possibly, but take it as it resonates, that could also be Aquarius energy. Or whoever this is, they could also have bad fortune. Um, and they could be working on something right now. Uh, they could be working very hard on some, some type of a plan wherein they're hoping that it'll cause you to lose your stability uh, by spreading gossip. I feel like I feel like you might have had a new start somewhere. If you move to another job or another community uh, or relocated recently, these people rushed in already to your new home, your new community, your new job, and they already made contact. That's it. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. If any of you recently changed jobs or recently because you're being gang stalked, if you recently changed jobs or changed communities and relocated, these people, somebody already came in that, that's experiencing bad luck and bad fortune, uh, or this is that Aquarius energy possibly even that might have connections. Uh, and what they did is they worked very hard uh, to connect all the dots here uh, to spread some lies and gossip about you Wherever you had your new start, Ace of Wands are. Uh, uh, and um, uh, the whole purpose is to cause you to have bad mental health so that you lose your stability. So they followed you wherever you're working at now or moved to, they have followed you, okay? Because they have some type of connections. But don't worry, God is in control of this. And I'm going to tell you and show you how God is in control of this very quickly, okay? Before I end this reading. I, I want you to understand something. I told y'all already, I already told y'all, uh, wait, first off, who's that, uh, who's that Empress energy? This is your female platonic friend. And what is that wheel of, uh, fortune? This is a romantic couple. This is your friend and coworkers, coworkers. Okay. So this could be someone you could have dated before, or this could be someone that you might have been friends with uh, at your old job, okay? Uh, this could be a couple from your old job that you might have been friends with, okay? They followed you, or uh, they followed you to your new job uh, through gossip. These people, they sound like they're well-connected. They know each other. Uh, a lot of these people in a, in a particular city you know, they might uh, know each other. But I want y'all to understand that God is in control, okay? It doesn't matter what type of connections anyone has, what organization they're a part of, you know, who they can call. Uh, it doesn't matter if they come to your new job and spread lies and gossip about you very quickly to try to cause you to lose your stability. Uh, don't worry about that. Uh, Holy Spirit, what do you want to say to my collective about uh, these people that have come to this uh oh okay you could even okay they're saying th the empress could actually even be you you could have been working very hard and relocated for a new start somewhere and this aquarius energy could have followed you okay uh very quickly and spread lies and gossip about you 
uh, wherever you had your new start at so that you would lose your stability. Okay, got it. All right, but Holy Spirit, what do you have to say about uh, this action that they're taking against whoever uh, my collective empress uh, is here that they have followed to their new start, to their new beginning? Uh, what do you say, Holy Spirit, about being in control of this situation? The law, court, many cards the first two out were the law court you need to isolate and heal for a better perspective so for one thing don't worry if you're in a new place and someone has already spread gossip come there out of nowhere and spread gossip maybe to your new supervisor uh, spread gossip to your new co-workers uh, the heads of your department about you and you're in a whole new place or in the community that you live in, if someone has already started spreading lies about you, they're saying, don't worry, keep to yourself and let God move. Holy Spirit, what is going to happen as a result of these actions that were taken? They like and see you on the other friend. You don't know this person. It's not relevant and could have been anyone. Yeah, so they sent somebody that you don't know to spread this gossip about you. They probably paid somebody to do it. So these people are indifferent. This could be happening to someone in one of the Northwest states. What's going to happen as a result of them spreading this gossip to uh, uh, this empress new uh, place? They want to have sex with this person. Boss supervisor. Oh, okay. They might, okay, so they might even send somebody, they might even send somebody, I have Haiti and Dominican Republic, they might even send somebody to seduce your new boss or supervisor. You are one special person. You are one very special person if you've got people making this much of a fuss over following behind you to try to ruin your life whoever you are, same sex, hidden enemy. Okay, I have Jamaica. This is the low aspect of the sign, low vibrational aspect of the sign. Mm -hmm. That wasn't Aquarius. All right, so I have real estate, lease, uh, inner circle white supremacy. Uh, I have celebration, and this person has created a reputation for themselves. Yeah, I don't think you have anything to worry about because these people already, whoever is at the head of this that's working within that inner circle uh, within the government wherein they have access to resources and organizations, you know, like Masonic organizations where they have at least one or a few of them working at every job so that they could easily, like you're playing telephone, uh, pass information around. I don't really think you have anything to worry about because whoever this person is that's been following you around, gang stalking and harassing you in your community and jobs, they have already created a reputation for themselves. So what that means is anywhere that they follow you to at this point, this person has done this so much that they're already known by everybody. And everyone already knows that it's personal. Whoever this person is behind all of this, it's to the point where it's become redundant. Uh, this person is like a prostitute, okay? The person that's behind all of this is prostituting themselves too. So they might even come have sex with your new supervisor or boss if this is a job. Uh, and this is someone that is, um, uh, this is someone that's gay, a man or a woman that's doing this to you, okay? That's obsessed with you. And, um, this person that has vowed to obviously ruin your life, whoever you are, they're, they're well known by everyone. They, they've created a reputation for themselves. So because they've created a reputation for themselves, people kind of really kind of are kind of writing them off a little bit. So they'll do what they ask them to do and listen and be like, oh, really? Oh, man, thank you so much. And as soon as that person turns around and walks away or walks out, after they thought they uh, lit the match and they set your shit on fire in your community, your new job, 
the people roll their eyes and they're like, oh, Lord, it's her again. Is that, it's that crazy bitch again. I wish she would get up off her divine feminine's uh, dick. <laughs> Stop riding her dick. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Shoot. <laughs> dick rider. Or, or, the, and I don't mean to sound so vulgar or divine masculine. You know, get up off my nutsack. You know, it, it, I mean, and that's what it's become. Whoever this person is that is following you around, uh, they obviously have connections in the government. They obviously have some type of connection because they've been prostituting themselves. Uh, and, and they got some type of connection to some inner circle. But, but they've made such a name for themselves now that when they come around to tell people things about you and come to different jobs and stuff, people already know who they are. So people kind of look at them and they're like, oh, okay, thank you. We'll get right on that. And as soon as this person walks away, you know, people are just like, ugh, just forget about it. You, you know, we don't have time for that shit. Work is hard enough. It's hard enough getting everybody to stop hiding on their breaks and taking extra long breaks and doing this, that, and the other. I don't got time for that shit, you know. But if they're part of this organization or, you know, a part of this group, they'll say, yeah, we're right on it. Yeah, we see that bitch. She she works in this department. She works here. We'll keep an eye on her. And as soon as as soon as that person leaves, you know, they just roll their eyes and they're like, "We don't got time for that shit. Let's go on with our regular day." That that's how redundant this has become. That's what the spirit is. is that's the energy that the Holy Spirit is showing you. Whoever this person that has been orchestrating this, following you around organizing cliques of people, uh, getting covens, and all these people against you, it has become so redundant that even the people that were working under them are sick and tired of them. They're like, God damn, let the shit go already. God damn, we tired of the shit. Keep the money. God damn, we don't even want the money no more. It's not even like it's a lot. Shit, work is hard enough as it is. God damn, it's hard enough getting through the day. All right, yeah, we'll do it. Sure, we on your side. Whatever you say. All right. All right, yep, absolutely. We're going to gang stalk. We know what to do. Yep, we're, we're going to mess with her head. We're going to mess with her mental health. Okay, yep, we're going to have her thinking she crazy up in here. All right, all right, we'll, we'll keep you posted and updated on how it's going. And as soon as they walk out the door, they're like, man, don't know how they got time for that shit. <laughs> it's redundant. It has become redundant. Holy Spirit. There you go. FBI, CIA, NSA. These people are tired. These people, whoever this energy is that's been orchestrating all these things against you, they're tired. They're, they're, they're tired. You know, they realize it's not even having an effect on you anymore. They realize it's like uh, the same thing we did yesterday. Try to kill divine feminine. Try to affect divine masculine's mental health. Try to... Uh, man, I am so... Somebody get me a cup of coffee. Shit, I got shit going on in my own life. God damn. Shit, I need to find me somebody my damn self. I don't got time to be uh, gang stalking no goddamn body. Shit, my man about to walk out the damn door. Shit, I, I need time for my kids. I don't even got time to take my kids to the park. Y'all got me doing this stupid ass shit. <laughs> That's what it is. That's where we are at with it. Holy Spirit, anything else? Yeah, this is an apology. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah, thank you, Holy Spirit. And I'm going to end it right here. This is an apology. Some of these people that are in this organization or some of these organizations that have been participating in some of this are tired. They are sick and tired of whoever this individual is that has been spearheading this operation. I think they realize this person might have schizophrenia or have some type of mental health issues and they're a little tweaked and off. And I think everyone realizes that now and they might still be going along with protocol, but it's become so redundant that they're in an energy of, all right, we're just gonna, well, because this person, uh, we all know this person been sucking the, the head director's dick uh, for several years now. <laughs> so they have their favor so we still have to do whatever we're being asked to do and because they still have that type of relationship with our director. So we're going to do it, but, you know, just, you know, 
just go through the motions, but y'all don't have to worry about putting too much into it because you already know it's not going to go anywhere. People are fucking tired. They're to the point where they just want to apologize and, and tell on the director and this person that's been sucking on them, you know, to get favors and to get people orchestrated to do this work for them. They want to come and apologize, you know. Maybe they even want to offer a settlement. Maybe they even want to offer some type of a settlement to apologize for this, the carrying on uh, these illegal stalk, gang stalking operations and all this shit that has been done all this time, you know, to some of you. Yeah, I feel like, I really feel like they, I feel like they want to come forward at this point. What, this cancer energy with the wicked thoughts here? Yeah, they want to come forward. I feel like somebody wants to come forward at this point because they're tired. This shit is, they're tired of feeling like they have to go along with this shit because someone that's a higher up in the organization is still getting their knob polished by whoever the uh, leader of this is. Somebody's wish fulfillment, Ten of Cups, somebody's wish fulfillment is to, to, to be blocked off from this shit. Maybe it's that uh, chariot uh, cancer energy right there but somebody really doesn't want to go along with this shit no more somebody just wants to block all these motherfuckers and walk away but they're tied into this shit and their job is tied into this shit so they have to still go along with it hallelujah and this is the truth but for real they just want to let this shit go because it's a fucking burden it's causing a mental block they just want to release this shit and walk away from it but because it's tied into their employment how they make their job, they're still going along with it, okay? And that's the truth, all right? So you guys, if this is happening to you, don't worry about it. The people that are doing this to you, they don't even want to do it anymore. They don't even want to do it anymore. They're tired, okay? I am Kwan Yin. Have a great evening. I hope you had a good Monday. And this is I Have No Cut Cards Tarot. I'm happy my camera's working again.